Evening everybody, Rich here, back for another Transport Fever video, and this is another train journey from point A to point B, but uh, today, this time, it's a loop. Um, the map that I'm running on, the train services run on a loop all the way around the map, and there are small branch lines that spur off uh, in different places. So today we're going to do a small branch line trip today from uh, Felixstowe down there. I think it's Felix Stowe, isn't it? Uh, yeah, Felix Stowe there. The, li the line branches off and goes into a small loop into four or three towns, if you like. So there's a, well, basically Felix Stowe to point A to point B to point C. Um, basically just three stations. So that's basically the uh, the trip for today. I may well do a video of the full circuit because it's quite a, a vast uh, loop, but uh, I'll get to that another day. So what we're going to do, we're going to shoot down to Felix Stowe. And we're just going to have to wait for our train. We're in the, the biggest station in the map, this is. It consists of seven platforms, and uh, currently have three, three, no, two trains in, and two more approaching. So we're going to grab hold of the branch line anti-clockwise loop. So I, I usually run the trains in uh, clockwise, and uh, well, I usually name the routes uh, clockwise and anti-clockwise. So we we'll just grab hold of this train here. He's on the AC line, and we'll go from here. So this is Chester branch line anti-clockwise. So we'll just get rid of the mouse cursor. And uh, although they're running on steam, there are overhead gantries for the um, the electric cable or well, electric trains later on. So I haven't got I've had, I have got a few electric trains available to me, but they're not very good. So I'm therefore uh, updating later on. So we're on our way now. The next line or well, the next station is Chester. So it's not a huge loop uh, or journey, but uh, it'll be about 10-15 minutes I think if we're lucky. And uh, as we're on the branch line, we're not going to be sparing off to the left, uh, to the right, sorry, in affecting the main line. They're, they're on their own separate line. Although they can connect, because there is, there is a turnaround loop further ahead. I tried to do a copy of uh, Eastley Railworks with the loop in the distance, but uh, it's a bit smaller than the real thing. But it works nonetheless. So we're just on our way across the crossing here. And then we should just spur off to the left. Obviously. And then we've got the oncoming train. There's the Chester Branch uh, clockwise route. That's the uh, return journey there. Bigger locomotive but only holding two carriages. It's not a hugely profitable uh, line but uh, it does its job. It's basically, I, I used to run the line with um, just buses between the two towns or three towns rather. But uh, buses at this time of, t uh, time of the gameplay is a bit restrictive so I thought I might as well update it with um, trains and uh, this is what we ended up with so there's a depot on the right there that's the uh, the, the the loop if you like the, you can see just ahead the branch spurs off to the right and it tur turns right the way back round and connects to the main line so we could do a full loop and come back on the main line if we wanted to but there's not really much point and there's another spur straight on but uh, that's not completed yet that line up ahead that's an uncompleted line at the moment so that's something for the future we just stick to this line for the moment and there is a really awkward shaped bridge up ahead. Well, you, can look, you can see it on the left, the uh, the bridge there. Um, sort of an embank concrete embankment, if you like. I've got to go over that. As you can tell, I've got a new microphone as well, so I sound a bit better. Here comes the next train. Beautiful. And there you can see in the distance is the concrete embankment. And a little bit of a dip here down into the cutting and then we'll start climbing up onto the embankment getting up some good speed when we're, this is the engine's top speed 56 miles an hour so we're on high speed track as well so we're not going to uh, have any issues I'll tell you what though updating the track from uh, from standard to high speed is a pain in the ass especially when you're trying to get the stations done uh, if you don't do it properly you can end up destroying the whole system so that's uh, a couple of times I've managed to achieve that but uh, the train is not really struggling up this hill. We're up on the top now. A little bit of lag there. And we'll spur across the bridge now. Another train. So the uh, consistency or the um, the duration of the trains is actually quite uh, consistent. And uh, a bit of a corner coming. Out. That's why we're having to slow down. Quite a steep steep curve and a tight corner. I really ought to uh, try and update this. 
so you can, you can hear the grinding of the rails. Basically, that's because I wanted to keep the train, try and keep the line parallel to the road. Of course, when you get the tight curve in the uh, the, the bridge embankment there, and well, it's uh, it really doesn't help. So it doesn't matter. Another train up ahead. Is that we passed? I think we've passed about four on this journey so far. Not doing too bad, is it? You can see the um, um, what was the word? Well, you know what I mean. The consistency. The trains are constantly on the on the uh, on the run. So there's, there's no, even though you may miss the one train, you'll be early for the next train. As the saying goes. We're just approaching Chester now. Going to go into a big plume of trees, and the station is just in here. There we go, there's our first stop. Another train already there. There we go. Chester. Brilliant. Just adjust my headphones there. What's our next stop? I don't know, I can't remember. Must be picking up quite a few passengers as if we were waiting this time. Oh, oh off to Retford now, so that's, uh, that's the next stop. There's only, like I said, there's only three stops. We've already done, uh, or come from Felixstowe, and now we're off, to, or we've been to Chester, and now we're off to Retford, and then it'll be back to Felixstowe again. Just a small loop. And we'll cross gate to down. One just disappeared. <laughs> and we're off again. A lot of buses in this town as well. We've got to keep the uh, keep uh, people moving. And there's another train in the distance there. I think is that on the same line or is that? Um, oh yeah, that is the uh, the return train. I was thinking the main line's not far away in the distance now. It's uh, we're heading uh, west. And there's another, um, the main line actually runs in the distance on the west coast, basically. I won't say west coast, the west side of the map. Well, it really depends which way you're looking at it. I don't think there is a north, south, east, west. Uh, it just sort of depends on where you look at it. There's another depot over there, over there on the left. Town in the, 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 the distance. That's the word I think. The frequency, the train frequency is very, very. Uh, well, I don't really think what it is. It's, 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 the frequency is very good, if you like. Um, I'm not sure what it is. I have to, I have to check the uh, the planner to see how frequent they are. But uh, this minutes, basically, or a few seconds, really, the amount of trains we pass. You can sort of sit in the corner at a little crossing and just watch trains go by all morning, or all day if you like. The frequency is pretty good. There's another one in the distance. Starting to get a bit of stutter here for some reason. And I think that plume of smoke in the distance area is the train in front of us just pulling out, so that's the uh, frequency there. Uh, this town, it's been some time since I've been uh, looked at this town in the game and it has grown quite a bit so plenty of uh, buildings around the station there and uh, here we are at Retford that bloke in the red shirt didn't look too well did he? just watching their double crossing gates now they should start to drop Another train approaching. And off we go back to Felix Stuff. Not 
we go again. And then you can see that depot on the left. And some of the uh, overhead rail, overhead wires are a bit not, uh, not quite animated, probably. But uh, never mind. We're on the move, nonetheless. Running parallel with the road, and you can see over there on the right in the distance there is plume of smoke. That's the distance away uh, the main line is. Uh, the main line runs along that edge of the map, um, and that's where the uh, that's how far away the, tra uh, the line is. Another train just coming up. Probably the first train we saw earlier on. And I think there's only about eight trains on each line, or not even that, I don't think it's probably about six or, or maybe uh, as little as five trains on on this loop, um, each in each direction. Because uh, the frequency is pretty good and the, the speed of the train is pretty good. And you can see in the distance over there on the left is the train approaching. Town ahead. I was going to put a station here, but I fought against it. Uh, so it looks like we're approaching another station, but really we're not. We're just just going around the outskirts of the town. So it's a uh, oh, big stutter there. Uh, so yeah, there's no uh, station here. It's not a big issue there. Not sure what the town's called right today. See on the right there the main line. We're basically right in line with Felix Stone. Now the town ahead is Felix Stone, so we just pull back into the back back door of the station. Run parallel with this road. I'm really stutter on this game, I don't know what's causing that. Another bridge overhead, and another train. I think there's only a uh, right left kink to go and then we'll be back in the station and there's another train in the distance so that's the main line over there. Cross this crossing, a quick swivel and we'll be back in the station. So that, that over there on the left is the depot that services this line. I really need to put another depot in as well for the uh, trains on this side. So we're now approaching so the main line just ahead. And that would be pretty much it. Across the crossing here. And there's a the return train again. And then we pull into the station. Beautiful. So yeah, that is a full loop of this uh, branch line if you like, complete. And here we go, there's our train. Oh, bit of lag there. So there's our train, just uh, departed. Oh, we just got off rather. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, um, really much, not really much else I can talk about. You can see, it's only a three coach tank engine. Nothing really special. So you've got the main line trains are the big, uh, well, Flying Scotsman, if you like, there are the uh, Grizzly A3s. So um, we'll just wait for our train to go and I think we'll end it there. Another video I will do later on will be the main line. 
Uh, that'd be a longer video, of course, because I have a lot more journey to do. And uh, there's our train leaving. There's another train pulling in. And um, yeah, like I said, I will do another video of the uh, the main line. And there is another loop further around as well. I may uh, do as well. So um, yeah, that's uh, for another day. So this is Rich signing off, logging off, and disappearing. And I shall return with another video. So uh, bye for now.